Soft Embassy, Nigeria's deplorable embassy. When I visited United Kingdom, all the way from United States last two months, I came here, the diplomat, they were running left and right. Right now we have came for more than 10, 15 minutes now we'll be here, or 10 minutes. We have let them know that we are here to ask them the question. We want the diploma to come out and speak with us. And uh, these are one of them. You see, she wants to lock the door. You video her, a bit. You want to lock the door. We want to speak with the door. Look at you, shameless woman. We are here today. Nigeria Embassy become Nigerian Pepe Embassy. Nigeria Embassy continue to damage Nigerian citizen abroad. A common passport they will request for. They will humiliate them. They will charge them 500 pounds. They will charge them 600 pounds with no receipt. Because they are covered with the status of diploma, the British government cannot investigate them. So therefore, Nigeria Embassy run wide with their corrupt scamming business. And they continue to scam Nigerians in the United Kingdom and all over the globe. Nigeria Embassy in Madrid are evil, they even extend their scamming business. Nigeria Embassy in Madrid, they are collecting money for police reports that will expire in five days. After you pay 120 euro, 150 euro, the police report will expire. They will turn around and tell you that that police report is no longer valid. You have to turn around and do another police report. So here you are, Nigeria Embassy in United Kingdom. Look at them, look at their flag right here. Here you are, they continue to decimate Nigerians over here in UK. If immigration even asks for a passport, Nigeria Embassy will refuse to issue the passport in appropriate time. Nigeria Embassy will collect money without receipt. They will ask you to go and pay in online. After you pay in online, they will come here and they will seek babuzo you. So we are here to tell Godfrey Oyema, the Prime Minister of Foreign Affairs, that Godfrey Oyema is a thief. Godfrey Oyema is the most corrupt minister in Nigeria. We are here to tell you, you the useless ambassador, you have not seen anything coming to you. I am here to stay in your door to tell you, not until you come, I will go to humiliate you. I will go to publicly disgrace you. I will go to put you in the video. One word will know you. So we are, you can, one person can hold that. Some, you can help us knock on the door again. You can ring the bell. Okay, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me, let me do this right quick. No. <laughs> So, uh, as you can see, they are running. They cannot even, they cannot even answer me. So, they, they are running. They are running. So, brothers and sisters, everywhere is watching the world. Just roll it down here, bring it. The other people are watching the world, bring it, put it right there. Right there. This is Nigeria and Dasi. Watch. Yeah, this is my camera right here. You can see me. People's freedom movement. Right there, look at it. We are here to ask you questions. How are you operating your embassy? Nigeria Embassy. Ole, Nigeria Embassy. Ole. Nigeria Embassy. Ole. Nigeria Embassy. Ole. Nigeria Embassy. Ole. Gafoyema. Ole. Gafoyema. Ole. Gafoyema. Gafoyema. Ole. Nigeria Embassy. Ole. Nigeria Embassy. Ole. Nigeria Embassy. Ole. Nigeria Embassy. Ole. Ambassador. Ole. Chaji Afe. Ole. Consular. Ole. Consular. Ole. Consular. Chief. Consular. Chief. Consular. Criminal. Consular. 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 Chief. 
Ambassador. Holy. Ambassador. Criminal. Nigerian ambassador. Holy. Nigerian ambassador. Haram. Nigerian ambassador. Nigerian ambassador. We are telling you, you need to come down. Yes. This embassy belongs to all Nigeria, not to you, useless, corrupt diplomats. You need to come down. Not until you are come down, we are not going to leave here. And the whole world is watching. Yeah. You see this, my sensitive camera. It connects your globe, and they are watching you. Enough of your corruption. Your criminal and barbarian behavior while you are scamming Nigeria, embassy scam. We're going to put stop to it. Yes. So we are waiting for you to come down. You can go ahead and call Scotland here. Call any law enforcement agency. They are not going to save you to do. You have to come and give an account on how you are running your embassy. We want to see the ambassador. If you don't have an ambassador, you let us know. We have one now. We have a new one. Yes. So you need to come down and open the door. That is what we want. Stop hiding like a chicken. Stop hiding like a chicken. Come out and open the door. Come and tell us how you are running Nigeria Embassy. Why do you bring corruption from Nigeria to London? It's a simple question. You know what I'm saying? Simple question. Nigeria Embassy, they are hiding. You know what I'm saying? This embassy is become embassy of deplorable diplomacy. You know what I'm saying? Nigeria Embassy, they continue to steal African money, continue to steal Nigeria money, continue to waste Nigeria taxpayer money with no result. After United States, Nigeria Embassy in, U in Washington, D.C., the second biggest embassy, most respected embassy, is here. And if the second most respected embassy cannot behave in the appropriate way, how will you expect Spain embassy, they work in the Nigeria embassy? Yes. No, 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 okay. No, no, no. So, we are telling the Nigeria embassy to come out this video and best be watching there. As soon as they come out there, let me know. So, we're going to chase them. We're going to make sure we humiliate them one by one. If you see any diploma come out, tell me. You know, so, thank you so much. Go ahead. Thank you very much, sir. We are here once again. Remember two months ago, when we were here, nobody wants to listen to us. Nobody wants to receive us. And we promise that in two months, which is today, that we are going to be back. And here, according to what we said, we are here. Nigeria Embassy has become a shame to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Nigerian diplomat has become a disgrace to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Nigeria Embassy has become a dean of thieves to uh, Nigeria. They have become a scammer. They are scamming Nigerians of money. They charge uh, about 280, 270 pounds for a visa. And only 70 pounds go to the Nigeria Treasury account. This is one of the reasons why we are here. We want to find out how they are running the embassy. We have been on this issue for over two months, and nobody is ready to listen to us. Nobody is ready to receive us. Nigeria embassy is supposed to be a Nigeria home. It's supposed to be a solution to Nigeria living here in the United Kingdom. It's not supposed to be a threat. It's not supposed to be a scummy friend. It's an embassy. It's supposed to be a place whereby if Nigeria has a problem, they can run it, it here and they will have a solution. Or rather, it has become the other way. Nigeria Embassy has become a scummy. It has become a team of thieves. Nigeria Embassy has become the headquarters of corruption. Nigeria Embassy has become the headquarters of corruption. Nigeria Embassy is a shame to the Nigeria. Look at the diploma they are running. They don't want to come. Look at. Thief, oh yeah. Oh yeah, no. Nigeria Embassy. Nigeria Embassy. Charging the affair. Ambassador. Oh yeah. You are both a shame to yourself. You are both a shame to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And uh, today, even the Minister of Information is a thief. And Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They are thieves. They are both shame to Nigeria. They are both shame to Nigeria. Nigeria Embassy is a thief of thieves. Silence is no more a solution. Silence is no more answer. We are calling on the ambassador to come down and listen to us. The ambassador must come down today. Two months ago we were here, and today we are here again. You have to stop bringing shame to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, which you're supposed to represent. Enough of your scamming. Nigeria Embassy has become a deal of thieves. They are here to do their own private business. 
They are charging 270 for a single, 270 pounds for a single visa. Only 70 pounds go to the Federal Treasury account. What happened to the other money? We need an explanation. Somebody pay for a, a, a booklet for a passport to be renewed. You need to wait for three months. No booklet. What happened to booklet? Nigeria Embassy, only. Oh, hey. Nigeria Embassy, only. Oh, hey. Charging the affair. Oh, hey. Ambassador. The Minister of External Affairs is the head of the criminals. We are calling on the ambassador to come out. They must receive us today. They must receive us today. Nigeria Embassy, oh, they look at they are running. They are running one after the other. That was what happened two months ago. And nobody agreed that they are working here anymore. And today we are here because they know they are not clean. They know they are thieves. They know they are criminals. They don't want to listen to us. They are running one after the other. Nigeria Embassy is a thief. Nigeria Embassy is a thief. Nigeria Embassy is a disgrace to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Nigeria Embassy is a disgrace to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. They are here to represent Nigerians, but they have become a dean of thieves, a dean of criminal. They have transferred their corruption from Africa here. They have